A few years ago, a computer beating a human at checkers made headlines. Chess events never get covered like that. It was probably the biggest news coverage for a chess match ever. We were trying to prove that it was possible to build a chess machine that could beat the best human player in the world. It's also challenging Kasparov in any way. I mean, he's the pinnacle of chess. He was, he's an incredible genius. Today, AI writes symphonies, discovers medicines, and makes choices that touch billions of lives. And this is only the beginning. From simple rule-following machines, AI has grown into something we're just starting to grasp. With cheaper inference, smarter agents, and early autonomy, we're moving toward an unknown future, one that could reshape civilization itself. Today, we'll explore the story of seven stages of AI together. By the end, you'll learn about these stages and how much they have developed in 2025, and you will also walk away with a gift from us. So, without further ado, let's begin. Stage 1 – Rule-Based Systems our journey begins in the 1950s. These were the digital equivalent of a very sophisticated calculator, powerful but utterly predictable. In 1997, IBM's Deep Blue defeated world chess champion Garry Kasparov, not through learning or intuition, but through brute force calculation of 200 million chess positions per second. Now we still see these systems everywhere in 2025. Your thermostat, traffic lights, basic industrial automation, they're the invisible backbone of modern life. Simple, reliable, predictable. Historically, rule-based AI powered early automation like 1980s automated factories and simple chatbots. Today, classic expert systems are mostly legacy tech. The stage one era was about convenience through automation, answering queries by logic, not creativity. But here's what's becoming concerning. We've grown so dependent on these rule-based systems that when they fail, entire cities can shut down. Stage two. Context Awareness and Personalization this leap was giving machines memory and context. For example, modern phone assistants like Siri or Google Assistant, they learn from past interactions. They recall your name, your schedule, your accent, so that smart devices become more personal helpers. In 2025, context-aware AI is everywhere. It helps doctors remember patient history or tunes smart homes to occupants' habits. It drives convenience, voice recognition that understands accents, auto-replies that mimic your writing style, apps that anticipate your needs. But this power raises privacy alarms. The Cambridge Analytica scandal showed AI models mining Facebook likes to predict sexuality, intelligence, even voting habits. That personalization powers social media echo chambers and targeted propaganda. What's becoming scarier? These systems don't just respond to your preferences, they shape them. Ryan Holiday, author of books like Ego is the Enemy, explained it in a beautiful way. There was the expression I heard when I was writing my first book, which is all about media manipulation, it says that if you're not paying for it, you're the product that's being sold. And so the reason most of this news of the things we consume online are free is because it's not worth anything and because it's really about catching your attention to sell it to advertisers as opposed to delivering real value that people would pay for. Stage three, artificial narrow intelligence. Domain-specific expertise. This is where AI stopped being a tool and started becoming a colleague. These AIs are specialists, but super experts in one field. In 2016, when Google's AlphaGo defeated the world champion at Go, experts said it was impossible. The game has more possible positions than there are atoms in the observable universe. Yet AlphaGo didn't just win. It played moves that redefined how humans understood the game. In 2025, Domain experts powered by AI are already routine. Hospitals use deep learning for pathology. Finance firms use algorithmic trading bots. Factories have AI vision quality control. In 2025, AI radiologists detect cancer with 94% accuracy, higher than human doctors. These revolutionize industries and can save lives, but they also disrupt jobs and trust. An AI doctor's diagnosis is opaque, and errors can be deadly. We're creating systems that are superhuman in narrow domains, but completely helpless outside them. Stage 4. Reasoning Machines 
Consider GPT-5. OpenAI's own announcement calls it a significant leap in intelligence, state-of-the-art performance across coding, math, writing, health, visual perception, and more. Now, these systems reason across data types like images, text, even video, making them versatile assistants. Today, the average person may not know GPT-5 is behind email drafting or an app that writes code from a sketch. AI voice agents plan your trip and to end, even coordinating with IoT devices. We're in an era of AI augmented genius. But these powerful AI also spreads misinformation at scale. World Economic Forum reports 900% more deepfake content in 2020 alone and warns that by 2026, a majority of online content could be AI generated. The scarier part is that these AI systems are starting to exhibit emergent behaviors like capabilities they're creating creators never explicitly programmed. They're solving problems in ways we don't understand, using reasoning pathways we can't follow. We're no longer just users of AI, we're sometimes its students. Let's take a breather and give you the promised gift. We are offering our subscribers a detailed PDF that will educate you on different LLMs and their use cases. Drop your email using the form at the top of the description to get the PDF for free. You will also get free bonuses, tools, and tricks to educate and train you about AI and its future. So people of our community are not the AI victims. Stage 5. Artificial General Intelligence the dream of AGI, a machine as smart and adaptable as a human in every way. Historically, this was science fiction. Today, it's serious debate. Surveys show AI experts split on AGI's arrival. In 2025, an analysis of 8,590 forecasts found most researchers put a 50% chance of reaching AGI between the 2040s and 2060s. But some people like Elon Musk and others predicted near-human AI by the late 2020s. OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman, believes we will see it this very year. What are you excited about in 2025? AGI. This is the first time ever where I felt like we actually know what to do. Building an AGI will still take a huge amount of work, but I think we basically know what to go do what to go do. In other words, machines working alongside us are just around the corner. In 2025, AGI is still speculation, but we see hybrids of reasoning and memory like GPT-5 that feel alive, fueling talk that human-level AI is right around the corner. The threat is clear. Stage 5 AI could be the most transformative innovation ever, but whether it's a miracle or a curse depends on our choices. Because AGI doesn't just process in information. It understands it. It doesn't just follow instructions. It questions them. It doesn't just solve problems. It redefines what problems are worth solving. Stage 6. Artificial Superintelligence Machines far smarter than the smartest human, ASI, would not just match us, it would shatter our comprehension. It's the AI of nightmares many fiction writers envision. Researchers warn of an intelligence explosion where a machine recursively improves itself faster than we can monitor. Already, programs like AlphaZero taught themselves Go with no human input and quickly surpassed human champions, hinting how an AI might leap from novice to genius overnight. We're on the verge of creating minds that will make Einstein look like a toddler playing with blocks. Stage 6 will bring about existential questions. It's where ethics and AI development collide. Public figures from Jeffrey Hinton to Sam Altman have cautioned about superintelligence runaway scenarios. You could implicitly program an AI to believe that extinction of humanity is uh, what it should try to do. Mm. I mean, if you take that guy who was on the front page of the New York Times, and you take his philosophy, which is prevalent in San Francisco, um, the AI could could conclude, like he did, that there are eight, where he literally says there are eight billion people in the world, it would be better if there were none, and uh, engineer that outcome. What's truly frightening is an ASI system could solve climate change, cure aging, and unlock the secrets of the universe in a weekend. But it could also decide that humans are an obstacle to optimal outcomes. The question isn't whether ASI will be beneficial or harmful. The question is whether we'll even be relevant enough to find out. Stage 7. Singularity 
or the vision of fully autonomous AI with self-governance. Here, AI systems not only think super intelligently, but also run societies and organizations on their own. It's the singularity, an irreversible point where AI manages its own evolution and, potentially, human affairs. Imagine corporations or cities governed by AI councils, creating laws, budgets, and policies in real time. Every AI system before, no matter how sophisticated, served human-defined goals. We built the objectives into their code like commandments carved in stone. Now we're approaching systems that can rewrite their own objectives, question their own purposes, and establish their own moral frameworks. 2025's agents will be fully autonomous, programs that can scope out a project and complete it with all the necessary tools they need, and with no help from human partners. According to Ray Kurzweil, singularity will be achieved by 2045. By the time we get to 2045, we'll be able to multiply our intelligence many millions fold. And it's just very hard to imagine what that will be like. And that's the singularity where we can't even imagine. Right, that's why we call it the singularity. It's a singularity in physics. Something gets sucked into its singularity and you can't tell what's going on in there because no information can get out of it. There's various problems with that, but that's the idea. It, it's, too, uh, it's too much beyond what we can imagine. These autonomous AI systems won't be bound by human ethics, human limitations, or human timeframes. They might view us as we view pets, loved but not equals. Or they might see us as we see bacteria, mostly harmless, occasionally useful, generally ignorable. Today, in September 2025, we stand between Stage 4 and Stage 5. We've built machines that can outthink us in chess, outperform us in diagnosis, and soon outsmart us in every domain of human expertise. The seven stages of AI aren't just about technology. They're about us, about what we value, what we fear, and what we're willing to sacrifice for progress.